So with Mark at 7, um, it requires a uh, change to the um, registry cleaner. So when, when bad things happen uh, with the install, um, in the user installation, just like the uh, administration, the installation that requires you to be an admin, um, saves data into the registry. It's part of the way that Windows works. Um, when Windows installs a program, it places data into a key that lets the application know what the product key is and what the update key is. And so, um, for those folks who have used MarkEdit before, um, it doesn't happen very often, but occasionally, um, the Windows uh, installer will have problems um, when trying to update the application. And generally that happens because something's happened within the registry, generally happens during an installation, um, and what happens is the program gets stuck. You can't uninstall it, you can't reinstall the new version. And the reason that happens is because inside the registry, um, there are these keys inside a, um, a product code, product key and a uninstaller key that live inside the registry that tell um, Windows that an application is installed. Uh, if you remove those keys, the application is no longer technically installed within Windows. And that's really what the MSI Cleaner does. Um, with Mark Edit 7, there has to be some updates because the keys that get used are different. So how can you tell um, if uh, it's working? So I'm going to show you. Uh, this is on a virtual machine. So I have Mark Edit 7 installed here. Um, and so I can go ahead and run it. If I try and reinstall it using the installer, I get a note here saying that I can repair or remove Mark Edit. So this would, this is what happens when Windows thinks that Mark Edit is installed. If I try to install another version, a newer version, the first thing the application tries to do is remove the old application. Um, if it can't, then there's a, a problem. It won't reinstall. It won't install the new version. Um, so this will show you um, what happens. So here's the here it tells me that it's, it thinks it's installed. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it now. All right. So if I go ahead and run um, the new cleaner, um, by default the old cleaner you used to have it be admin an administrator to run the tool. Um, rather than make you be an administrator to run the tool, um, what I've done is I've set it up so that you can run the analysis. Um, without being an administrator. So if you've tried to install Mark Edit and there's problems, you can open, you can download and open this tool. And so here I can try and run it for um, Mark Edit 6. There is no Mark Edit 6 on this machine. And that's true. Um, I can run it again um, and to ask it to go ahead and run for Mark Edit 7. And we can see that it found two registry keys and these would be the two that I would expect to see. One is in the local machine space. This, this application version was installed as a user. Um, this is the key that matters the most. This is the one that uh, Windows uses to determine that the product has been installed. Um, the second one here, though, is a key that Windows puts in place um, to store information um, about the upgrade code. And this one's stored in the local machine. So. Uh, you can't actually edit the registry um, without being an administrator uh, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Um, in the, the language that we use and the API calls, um, they do put uh, strict limitations. Even editing um, the uh, user space, the current user space, which is, to, which is designated uh, for access to the current user. Um, I can write to that area, but I can't delete the keys. And you're going to need to delete keys in order to go forward. So. I've added a little button here. Uh, this allows you to run the tool as an administrator. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run it as an administrator. And so now the tool has been reset. So I can go ahead and click uh, 7, Analyze. And this time when I run the Fix It, it'll tell me it's going to try and delete these keys. The keys have been deleted. I reanalyze. Everything's been deleted. So now I can go back here. If you remember when I clicked on this before, um, it told me that it thought that that version of uh, Mark Edit had been installed and it gave me options to repair or um, uh, reinstall. When I run it this time, it no longer believes the application is installed. And so I can go ahead and run um, the installer and reinstall right on top of the old version. So 
if you run into an instance um, in Mark Edit 6, the way you would do this is you would run the program. It would have prompted you to run as an administrator first, um, and you would have then uh, answered those questions. Um, if you are running um, though as a, uh, if you're running though as a, as a um, uh, normal user and you're looking for Mark Edit 7, you can now analyze um, the tool, checking for either 6 or 7. But to actually do the cleanup, you do have to be an administrator um, to, to make those changes. Um, this is a, a limit, this is a restriction um, in the Windows operating system. Uh, like I said, I can, you can write um, and create keys into the user space. Um, which is the key that we need to delete, but you can't delete the key. And so um, in order to, to make this work, you can analyze the keys, but you will have to be able to run as an administrator to, to clean up that process. Now, the, the fortunate thing is you should very rarely ever have to do this. Um, I did the update, though, because I anticipate that there may be, um, at least at the very beginning, as Mark Edit 7 comes out, um, especially for folks who beta tested the program, um, there shouldn't be any problems. I've, I've been doing quite a bit of testing. The program should update as is. But if for some reason something did happen and you were running the beta version and the alpha versions um, and the application for some reason got stuck, this would be the way that you could unstick it, um, remove the registry keys, and then uh, uh, power on. It also is going to be useful if you install Mark Edit in a user, uh, as a user. Um, but then try and install it as an administrator. These use two different product codes. The application actually looks very different from Windows, and I honestly don't know what will happen if you try and install the two together. Uh, my guess is they should work just fine. They should install side by side. Um, but uh, just in case um, someone was to do that and, and there was problems, um, Again, the tools here to, uh, to help clean that up. Uh, if you have questions, you can let me know.